You see this little thing? Looks like a little horse hoof. Well, this can help you tremendously in the field. So as you gain more experience in the outdoors, you become more and more observant of the things around you. You start to look for things that you normally wouldn't look for. And one of those things that typically beginners and even advanced, I just, I picked this thing up today, are growths on trees. Now, you know me good enough. I don't care if you know the name of these things ever, okay? They go by various different names. All we're worried about is, do you know what they look like? Little horse hoofs. And at the bottom of this, when you break it off of the tree, okay, um, um, it looks like there are pores underneath it. And then the top cap is somewhat hard and smooth. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's white, sometimes it's cracked, sometimes it, it, it looks all greenish with moss on it, all different kind of stuff. Most important thing though is when you knock this off the tree, it shouldn't be rotted. So it should just feel like a hard mass. Like you shouldn't be able to squeeze it. There should be no like um, dusty kind of like just decay coming off of the thing. And if you did that, okay, it doesn't have to be this small, some of them grow real, real big, uh, you hit the jackpot because this can sharpen your knife. Okay, now how we're gonna actually work with this is we're gonna take our knife and we are going to cut this. Try to find the widest part. This is actually a pretty small piece, the bigger the better, but try to find the widest part and just simply cut it. Now, what you're going to notice is when I cut it, all of this, all right, they're like little broom bristles, okay? So you can actually peel them things away. But what you're gonna notice, and the bigger this would be, of course, the bigger this section would be, and that is the cap part. The cap part has this light brown color to it. It's very resemblant of leather. Now, because that resembles leather, we can utilize that small little section to strop our knife. Yes, that's right. The old timers used to do it all the time. You can take this and then simply slide your knife along it. We're gonna take this brown section. Now, we don't want to cut into it, okay? That's going to cut it. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take our knife starting at our tip and we are going to slide it across it and away. Okay, just like that. It should feel nice and smooth as you run your knife across that. So I'm touching the tip, making sure that I'm just sliding that across. Then we're going to change positions and also do it the other way. Now, I'm gonna again start the tip and then simply slide that thing away. Okay, all that we're doing is we're just honing this edge this way. And there you go, one of those cool tricks. Now remember, the bigger the piece of horse hoof fungus you get, uh, the easier it's gonna be because you're gonna have more of this cap exposed on the inside in order to go ahead and strop your knife out. Now this is never gonna replace a modern strop with any type of compound on it, but it's a good field alternative and it's something good to know. And I definitely think it's a worthwhile tool for the toolbox, so I wanted to share it with everybody. So remember, keep looking around. You'll find this stuff all over the place once your eye gets attuned to finding these crazy things on trees and don't let your knife get dull and you should be set to go. So give this a try next time you're hanging around camp and you find it, impress your family and friends and it'll be great. So this was Dan Wallach of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.